My involvement with the Haiti program started in 1999. We decided as a parish that we would like to go down and see how we might be able to help. We asked them what they wanted and the priest, the first thing he said was, we need a medical team. Because we have people that are, that are malnourished, we have people that are dying, and, and we need a medical team. And that's how it started. We did our first medical team and in four days we saw eight to 900 people. The second thing the priest wanted was a rectory. We built the rectory and then we came back for more medical teams and there were two dentists that went down with us and they would probably see about 400 patients in that same four day period. And then he wanted a school, so we built a school. We started out with 50 kids in a dark church and today there's a little over 700 children in school. And Holy Spirit Parish pays for uh, all the teachers and supplies. Our team went down in 2000 and we said we would be back. And the Haitians are very accustomed to people saying we'll be back and they don't come back. And we kept coming back. And then they, they realized we weren't going away. And they never asked for anything that was a luxury. All they wanted was for their children to be healthy. I think the reason that I got involved in Haiti or any other type of work like this was because of my parents. One Thanksgiving, my dad came home and he went into the kitchen and the next thing you know, our dinner is going out the back door. And my mother explained it to us that it's not that they don't have a turkey, it's that they don't have any food. And I knew that what my mother and father were showing us in life, it was a responsibility of ours to carry on. The reason that people want to go and want to support the program and why I developed Haiti Needs You was that you can actually see a difference. We now see people living longer. We rarely see malnourished children. And in 20 years, everything has changed. In 2009, I was approached by Jim Swangros. He was hoping that maybe students could go. And it was something that I always wanted to do. We put together a trip, and it was all West Catholic kids that went, and there were two instructors and a couple parents, and we've been doing trips ever since. The high school students, they would teach the kids how to brush their teeth. They will go from classroom to classroom, and they will show the kids how to brush their teeth. They weren't just tourists. They were there to make a difference. These kids saw something that my eyes didn't see watching them work with the people, watching their commitment to helping someone that they didn't even know. I could see the importance of this program for West Catholics.